All right, so let's take a look at graphing logarithms in my math lab. All right, so it says begin by graphing the log of x with base 2, and then we use transformations. And we're going to have to graph the vertical asymptote as well. All right, so we've got log of x plus 1 with base 2. All right, so you see here how we have the x plus 1, okay? Well, we know that's going to shift the graph. Let me just let, let me just show you real quick. If we have uh, f of x is equal to the log of x with base two. All right. So if we write that as g of x is equal to the log base two, and let's say we have x minus or plus, it doesn't matter some number h. And then outside the parentheses, we've got plus or minus, it doesn't matter, some number k. Well, what, a, what you've got to see here is this number here is going to move the graph left and right, and the number out here will move the graph up and down. So if this is x plus some number, it'll move, it'll shift the graph to the left. But if it's x minus some number, it'll shift it to the right. And then out here, if we have plus some number k, then it's going to shift it up. If it's minus some number, that's going to shift it down. Okay. So let's let's go back to the graph. All right. So. You can see here we have inside these parentheses x plus 1. Well, let's go ahead and click to enlarge this thing. All right, so I'm going to move this over to the right some so we can so we can see our problem here. All right, so I know logarithm. There's the logarithm tool. I'm just click anywhere on here. Okay, and let's just kind of move this over here so we can kind of see what's going on. All right, so I know since I have the plus one in here, that's going to move it what? To the left, one unit, okay? And I've got log base two. So I have a horizontal shift of one unit, but it's going to the left, so that's going to be negative one, okay? And so there, we shifted there. Now they want us to put in the vertical asymptote. So we're going, we're going to click the line tool, and we'll click here where the vertical, and see how we can move it around, okay, but it's going to be a vertical line, and we're going to make it dash, because vertical asymptotes are dashed lines, all right, and we'll hit save, and then we'll tell it to check our answer, it tells us good job. Now it wants to know what is the vertical asymptote. Well, the vertical asymptote is this line here going through x equal 1. So if you remember the equation of a line that's vertical is x equals, well, and what's the x value that it's going to? Well, that's negative 1. x equal negative 1. And we check our answer, and it's excellent this time. All right, so what is the domain? Well, what's the domain? What x values is it going to cover? Well, it, the graph isn't coming over this way any, is it? It's starting here at negative 1, and it's going to positive infinity. But notice we have a vertical asymptote at negative 1, so it's not going to include negative 1. So our interval would be, what, negative 1, and we'll, it'll have a parenthesis because it's not included, and then all the way to infinity, and we'll close our parenthesis. We'll check the answer, and we got it. All right, so what is the range? So the range, that's the y values. Well, you can see that the range, that the y values, this graph's going down forever, and it's also going up forever. I mean, I know it, it's going to the right, and it's also increasing. It's doing it slowly, but it is increasing. So the range would be negative infinity to positive infinity. All right. And so let's check that, and we got it, and let's go to the next question. All right, so here we have 5 plus log x base 3. 
All right, so let's go ahead and click to enlarge this thing. All right, so let's pick the logarithm tool. Just click on here somewhere. Let's, okay, we move this to where we can see it. All right, so it's base three. Now I've got log x. So just having log x, that's not going to move it to the left or right any. But this plus five out here, okay, that's going to move it up or down. And so since it's a positive five, that's going to be a vertical shift up five units. So I'll enter in a positive five. And so it'll look something like that. And then we need to enter in our vertical asymptote. So we'll pick the line tool. We'll click right here. There it is. We'll make it a dashed line. It's a vertical asymptote and we will hit save. All right, and then let's check our answer. All right, we got it. The vertical asymptote, well, that's this vertical line here going through where X is zero. So a vertical line is X equal, and well, what is it going through? It's going through zero. All right, next. All right, what is the domain? Well, the domain is, well, it's everything from zero to infinity. That's the X values, but it is not including, it's not including the zero. So that's gonna be a parenthesis, zero to infinity, parentheses, and let's check our answer. We got it. What is the range? Well, the range, well, once again, that's going down forever. It's also increasing forever. So the range would be negative infinity to positive infinity. And check the answer. And we got it. All right, so one more. All right, so this one's, this one's similar to, to the other one we did. Uh, let's go ahead and go through it real quick and so I'll do my log tool all right so there's no horizontal shift because this is X okay this is not X minus 8 in parentheses this is log of X and then minus 8 I think they should put like a parenthesis there on the X to make it you know where it's not so confusing all right so let's look all right, so there's no horizontal shift. There is a vertical shift, up or down, and since it's minus eight, well, we know that's gonna be a negative eight, and it's base 10. All right, so there's the shift. And then we need our asymptote, so we'll do the line tool. And there's our vertical asymptote. We'll make it a dashed line. And so we'll hit save and let's check our answer. That's correct. Uh, what is the vertical asymptote? Well, just like in the last one, it's the line X equal zero. So I get X equal zero. We'll go to the next one. And then the domain, well, that's all the X values. So that's gonna be everything from zero to infinity. And so that's gonna be zero to infinity all right so we'll check the answer that's right and then the range of course it's going to negative infinity and it's going to positive infinity so that's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity and check the answer and that's it so we did a good job there and I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.